Hello everybody, this is Danny S. Hodges. Today I got the double ultimate antenna with the VHF add-on. I'm going to show you everything, tell you all about it. Now, I have people asking me about shipping these antennas. I can't ship these antennas right here. This is a month. Let me show you how big this thing is. Look at this thing here. He must be going be wanting to try to pick up Mars or something or another. But he lives in Pennsylvania. And I have, believe it or not, I have people do this. He, he's got somebody that's coming from Florida. Ain't going to take it to him. That's going to see him. All right, look at this thing here. And here's the, the VHF add-on. And that reminds me, I got something special to show you in a minute. But, uh, see how I got this fixed? This thing right here was so heavy. It's got wood inside of, of some of it. You know, some of the main stuff, like the, the main beam right here. It's got wood inside of it. But it's so heavy, I didn't just want to keep adding weight to it. Because it's good and heavy. I bet you this antenna right here. I bet you if I were to ship that antenna, I'm talking about the cheapest ship could ship. I bet the shipping would be at least $150. Look at the size box that you would have to have. Hold on, let me show you something. Hey, there's the ultimate antenna box, and it's a monster. Hey, them store bought antennas you see? I'm gonna, let me show you about the size of the box they come in. I done bought some. They about this long, and they about this wide. And then see, like just to tell you, the ultimate antenna, I had to take the reflector off. Like uh, I shipped the, I shipped with the reflector off. Got that there, cause I'm gonna show you something here in a minute. I ship it like this right here. Because if I put the reflector on, like where it actually go, where the reflector actually goes, it won't fit in the box. And this is just in case you was wanting to say, why don't you get a bigger box? I checked on a bigger box. You can't just get like a one inch bigger. If you could, I would do it. But like you getting like a, a five inch box that way, five inches big, and five inches wider in the shipping goes up about a hundred dollars and uh that's why that's why i had to do it like this and y'all heard me say that that people was buying the antenna here's how it comes y'all heard me saying that people buying these antennas and like i had about four to to return it and i said i didn't know what the deal was because they never even cut the zip ties man i found out I was people didn't know they were supposed to uh, take the reflector off and put it on this side. I had a man to call me up, I swear, and tell me how good it was picking up, just like this. <laughs> I said, man, if it's picking up good like that, you won't believe how good it'll pick up when you put the reflector where it goes. And this is one that, this right here is one that cut, that, that I got, uh, that came back. And see? He screwed the holes in it right here. But here's the zip ties. Here's one of them that I just cut off of there. And it's the same zip tie that what we put on it right here to ship. He didn't never take that loose. Ain't that something? And here's what I'm going to do. I finally, like, got caught up a little bit. I'm going to put this... VHF bar on the e store. Now, you know what the day is, and by the time some of y'all see this, well, by the time a bunch of y'all see this, it'll already be on the e store. But I got to figure out a few details. I got one of these made for the ultimate antenna laying over there. I'm going to show you that in a minute. I'm just kind of telling you a few things. But I think I'm going to try to 
uh, send the cables with it. And I don't know that I'm going to sell this separate. Because, see, I can take this and put it in the, uh, in the box, in the ultimate antenna box. You can buy it with, or you can buy it with a booster, or, or, or then I can fix it where you can buy it with this VHF bar. Now, there's people that love that VHF bar. Uh, I got one on my house, but I just done it like just messing around. I, I didn't need it, but, uh, I just, you know, they... All kinds out there. Now I'm going to show you the one I made for this ultimate antenna. Here it is right here. Hey, uh, you know why I'm doing this stuff inside so much? It though, It's real hot weather outside. Man, it's rough going out there. And I just done this in just a few minutes ago. But there it is. Don't look like much to it, do it. Got the, it's got the transformer soldered on right here. And these screws right here, they go all the way through. And these plastic pieces is real heavy duty. But uh, I'm going to show you like how you would do it, you know. I've said and fixed this thing. And I've said and fixed this thing up and like figured out like, how I want it. There's just one little tiny thing here that you probably wouldn't even think nothing about, but I did. Okay, when when you get the ultimate antenna, it comes like this right here, you know. So, if you was using the VHF add-on, see I got screws in it right here. You take them two screws and see them holes. Take the two screws out and remove this piece. And then this will, uh, goes into place. You can see that? This right here goes right into place. And don't forget now, this right here would be on this side. So I better show you exactly right how it would be. And this slides in here. This slides in here like this. And then, I, this is the way I usually do them. I usually slide this on top of the wire. The, the, the other reflector wire, what few I've done. I've made a few for people in the shipping. But, uh, just like that. And let me let me kind of show you this something I was thinking of just a second ago. Okay, yeah. Let me move this out of the way. You see, you will come back and drop a screw at this side, slanted. The same screws you took out of that five and a half. That's what we call. Them. And then you flip this over and. You would drop your screw in this way. And then I hadn't put them in here. I just put a couple of screws right here just to hold this. But I would send you the long screws. That would go overall, which I mean, I seen them anyway, you know. But it'll go overall. Boy, I bet, bet y'all trying to hit my wife over there laying in the recliner. Alright? I would uh, do it just like that. In the long screws that I see them with you, uh, y'all already got them coming with this. And uh, might need to send a couple extra for this. And y'all, I've been thinking about that like forever. But I just ain't had time to do it. I, uh, <laughs> hey, it's been hard trying to stay ahead of the e-store sales. But uh, 
That don't look like hardly nothing to it, does it? Yeah, I meant to, I meant to tell you this. I was about to forget. Now, see this right here? See this bottom piece? The length right here is okay. But I need to make this where it comes all the way out to the edge. Now, see? And see, I've done it on this. See what I'm talking about? I've done it on this. But, uh, I need to make this where it comes all the way out to where it curved at. And i tell you what I noticed about this uh, VHF bar. I got one on my house. Like, I, I was making a video, and I put it up there. And, I, and you know I got a rotor. But when I was turning mine, it, the signal, you don't hardly lose no signal strength on it. And even like, even like turning backwards. And this reflector do make that pick up better. But you can take it off and it'll still pick up. I don't think it hurts it as bad taking this off of the VHF bar as taking the reflector off of the ultimate antenna. It hurts it. They some, they, I figured out that reflector's doing some more stuff than then this block of signal out the back. Okay, the first part of this video you seen, I done a couple of nights ago. But I didn't ever turn loose of the video. I was troubled about the eBay thing. And I'm gonna explain that to you. But here it here it is finished. What I was talking about. Okay, and I'll show you right here. I started like seeing about putting it up, putting it in the box for eBay, you know. Here's the booster. Here's the the uh UHF the VHF thing. And see how I got it where I, I was putting it in there where I could ship it. And now let me kind of tell you. In this RCA booster you got to flip a switch in there. And I kind of wanted Bear to make the cords up for y'all. You know, let me show you. The cord coming from right here down. And the cord coming from right here down. And have them like hitting down here at the same spot. And I wanted to go ahead and screw the cords on and go ahead and hook it to the booster and have all that part waterproofed. But man, it's just seeming like it's too much for eBay. Because like when somebody orders from eBay, there ain't no playing and messing around. It's got to go. Okay. And the other part that bothered me about putting it on the eBay thing, I'm going to have this where you can get this, where you can get that if you want to, or I'm going to have it where you can just get this. I'm going to have it where you can get it any way you want it. Just going to have to, to call me up to do it. Okay, now back to the problem I was talking about. Uh, you might have one person that wants this. You might have one person that wants all of it. You might have one person that wants just this and not the booster. You might have somebody that don't want the cable. Now, you see what I'm talking about? It's complicated. And I don't want to put it on eBay in 10 different ways uh, for you to buy. I will be making a video of how to assemble this to your, to your ultimate antenna. But you pretty much seen, you pretty much seen what I was doing, you know, earlier on the video. See this? And, I, and also I was on there talking about, they was something that you probably wouldn't think nothing about. But what I was talking about, I was talking about making this right here longer. You see that on these, I did. But that right there just simply goes like that right there. And I'm going to try to offer everything you want. Just going to have to call me up and order what you want. I got, I got checks and money orders over there from people calling me. And I've been sending all the stuff out, but I ain't been to the bank. 
because I ain't had time. All right, I'll show you this little part about the, uh, I, I might have said this, I'm going to make an instruction video. But anyway, you check this last part of the video out, and we'll see y'all in a few days. I'm going to show you something here. And see, see right the way I'm pointing like where them trees is. That's the way my antenna on my house is going through them trees right there. And them trees is out there probably, uh, that's probably like 40 yards. Probably about 40 yards. And then see, here's, an, here's Augusta. Going through all this. Going through all them, all them trees. And, and that thing gets Augusta at night. And, uh, and it also gets the Ultraman antenna. It also gets uh, Atlanta every night. Every single night. So I, I have a bunch of people ask me about that, you know, about the tree situation. Hey, y'all, uh, I ain't heard nothing but good. I ain't heard nothing but good out of this Ultraman antenna. And, I mean, I get messages every day. All right, everybody. We'll see y'all next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe.